This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, August the 23rd. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in, and we do have a complicated forecast. Let's take a look at the surface pattern this morning, and we're generally under high pressure centered over southern uh, Louisiana. But we do have an interesting uh, pattern with an upper level ridge that's going to be changing its orientation, and that will be changing our weather and hopefully giving us some relief from the heat. Uh, the temperatures this morning fairly warm across central Alabama as most locations are in the lower 70s. And we do have heat advisory in effect for uh, much of Alabama, with the exception of the east uh, central sections. Uh, and uh, heat advisories, that's the uh, areas in orange over much of uh, the central part of the United States. QPF-wise, uh, much of the precipitation is going to be with the traveling weather systems off to our north, as the westerlies are pretty far to the north, thanks to that ridge. But we're also watching, and you see the little uh, area of rain from central Kentucky down into northeast Georgia. We're also watching some thunderstorms that are north of Nashville, and we'll talk about those in just a minute. Storm Prediction Center is out looking a slight risk over parts of the Dakotas, uh, as well as uh, a little bit of northwestern Iowa and uh, parts of uh, Minnesota. And that area stays up there as that's where the westerlies are for day two. That's where the westerlies are producing much of the activity. In the Atlantic, the tropics are fairly active with a system coming through the area of Hispaniola and entering the southeastern Bahamas where it's likely to uh, find conditions a little bit more favorable, especially as it pulls away from the mountains of Hispaniola. Right now, the model clustering is suggesting that it will come through the Bahamas and uh, probably as a tropical storm, but it has not been named as of this filming, so uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, but the GFS is suggesting perhaps a further east uh, westward track that could be over uh, the east coast of Florida, so this is going to bear some watching. And as it gets further to the north, it could have a little bit of an impact on our weather, actually drying things out. All right, let's get to the uh, 06E GFS model run, and there's a look at uh, the ridge, which is the big feature that is over the uh, central U.S., producing a good deal of the heat for us. And uh, we're looking at uh, a cluster of thunderstorms north of Nashville and uh, the HRR. Uh, the higher resolution model suggesting that that cluster could actually come down the, late this morning down into the Tennessee River Valley. And uh, that w if that does happen, that could be a focus for additional showers and thunderstorms to develop. Right now, I think uh, showers and thunderstorms will be very isolated. All right, back to the regular uh, GFS model run. And the ridge uh, is, or is changing its orientation, retrograding a little bit for us, which puts us under a little more of a northeasterly flow pattern. Uh, and so that, uh, once again, get, brings us into the possibility of scattered showers for uh, Sunday afternoon, especially driven by the uh, heat. The ridge orientation continues to change just a little bit, but uh, that is developing what we often think of in the uh, springtime as a wedge pattern with cold air damming. And we see that the uh, high is over the uh, mid-Atlantic states and that high uh, bringing a northeasterly flow and that is bringing drier air as well as some cooler air down into uh, Georgia and north and central Alabama. So that could uh, spell uh, some relief for the heat for us. And it's also showing, the GFS also showing the tropical system coming through the Bahamas. That the orientation continues to change just a little bit on that ridge, uh, and uh, as it does, uh, we become more under that cold air damming kind of thing, although I think in the discussion I say it's more like a cool air damming situation. And then, of course, we're dealing with the tropical system that is approaching southeast Florida, and that's on Tuesday. By uh, Wednesday, that system, uh, the GFS is suggesting that that tropical system would be approaching, and uh, southeast Florida, but uh, at the same time, the ridge is beginning to uh, uh, weaken and uh, be dampened down as the trough comes in from the uh, northwest, and that would uh, certainly give us some dry weather, but uh, again, the GFS a little further to the west than some of the other models uh, that were clustered there together. Uh, the focus for the weather pattern in the upper atmosphere changes to that trough on Thursday, and then on Friday, that trough moves uh, into the middle Mississippi River Valley, and that would certainly take uh, what is out there just off the southeast coast of, uh, of the U.S., uh, off the coast of South Carolina. That would take that tropical system and take it out into the uh, Atlantic, away from the coast. But it looks like it's going to be pretty close to the coast, so 
too close to call just yet. Uh, and uh, going out into voodoo country, uh, the ridge is there through much of voodoo uh, period, through much of week two, and we see it extending, but not nearly as, uh, as uh, high amplitude as it has been, so it looks like there's not any uh, excessive heat, and uh, that's uh, on Thursday. And then we get out to Monday, the 8th of September, and we can see that the uh, elongated ridge across the southern tier of the United States is still there. Once again, uh, absence of any real extreme heat. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. Expect to have the next one posted first thing on Sunday morning. In the meantime, stay tuned to the blog for updates on the ever-changing weather situation. Y'all have a great day. Godspeed.